Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. Tonight I am at the Poltergeist Farm. Um, we were out here a few nights ago and it was absolutely nuts. The uh, file cabinet fell on Joe. Um, it was just an eerie feeling. For me, it brought me back to my first video ever. So uh, I am uh, all about overcoming my fears. So I'm back here tonight, but I will tell you this. Last night about 4.30 in the morning, I hit a phone call from Big Joey C. Um, I drove out here. This is like 15 minutes from my house, so it's not too far. Um, I picked him up. He was all freaking out. He didn't feel well. So I, uh, I just picked him up, took him to my house, let him stay in the, in the guest room, and uh, woke up. He woke up today and took him back to the car. He's doing good, um, but he did tell me not to come out here again, so you know what that means. If he tells me not to come, I'm going to come. If you ever want me not to do something, tell me to do it. Um, so I see, when, I, see, <laughs> I see the opportunity when somebody tells me not to do something as a challenge. So here I am. It's my challenge. He was really talking about some odors in here, um, and uh, I just told him the house stinks anyway. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but he said it was really weird. He felt, said it would smell like poison gas. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to check it out. Obviously, if there's poison gas in there, which I don't know how there possibly is, um, I'm not going to jeopardize my health. So with that being said, guys, let's go in and check this place out. Here we go. All right, guys. I do have this light with me, which is cool. Joe has received the uh, new O-Light, so I get to borrow the old O-Light, which is awesome. I love it because it really lights up this place a lot more. So <sighs> we're just going to get right to it. I'm not going to deal with the, uh, the barns and all that other good stuff. Alright guys, and as you know, my, my camera shuts off at about every 15 minutes, so um, I will uh, have to shut it off halfway through, which is always a good indication for me, so I know that I'm uh, almost there. But I will tell you the first half is the longest half. Whew. Here we go. Let me check down here real fast. Because if there's anyone... Joe told me when he when he started here he felt like there was someone in the house so I don't like that I can actually look at the tripod too. Okay. All right, if there's anyone here, oh, I see what he's saying about a smell. It smells like a uh... Is anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? I'm just in here taking pictures. Okay, I, I um, I actually, ooh, I smell like somebody made hard boiled eggs, but I don't smell any poisonous gas. Okay, so, oh, by the way, yes, everybody said that the file cabinet was on the ground, and it is. All right, guys, this is my biggest uh, thing to overcome, is this hallway right here. <clears throat> so I'm going to do it. Hello? OK, 
Okay, that's pretty much all the attic because that looks all the way down the whole house. Wow, it smells like, uh, smells like um, Easter eggs. Ooh, man, that's weird. Okay, don't like this room. All right, guys, so. It is the strangest thing, because it really smells like uh, <laughs> hard boiled eggs. <clears throat> smells like my wife making her lunch for the day because she loves hard-boiled eggs. Okay, let me check out And... All right. Man, that is weird. I smell eggs. All right, guys. This is huh. this is um this is okay. This is okay. I'm gonna get through this, but I am gonna come in here. Joe said that um he mentioned that he had something with the cabinet again. I didn't see his video yet, so oh, actually, I don't think he's putting it out until. Uh, afternoon tomorrow <sighs> okay so I'm here there's a spider if there's anyone in here any spirits that want to uh, talk to me feel free I'm here I'm not gonna hurt you much like I know you're not gonna hurt me Guys, I feel like something's here. I feel, wow. I feel like somebody's trying, to <laughs> I got a, a really weird feeling, really like a chill. That's the door. Oh boy, here we go with the doors. All right, if anybody's in here. The door's not opening. What in the freaking world is that? What the hell is going on? Well, that was really strange because... Hold on. This door closed, much like that. Oh, it is kind of, oh, I see. It definitely closed. And then, I can't, oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Guys, this is crazy. This is crazy, crazy cool. Stop it, stop it. Okay, so whoever you are, now I already know what's going on. I already know what's happening, okay? That's the same door that hit me the time I was here with Joe. Last night I said that once that file cabinet fell that I started feeling like a, a flashback. Yeah, yep, so for some reason, doors like to open and shut and there is definitely something in here. There is definitely something in here. And I don't, I don't quite get it, guys. There is a strong sense in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so I do know that whatever it is, I don't know if that thing's moving because I, I must have hit it. Um, whatever it is, it's trying to tell me something. And I don't know what it could be telling me. But here is that crazy cabinet. Now guys, I will tell you this much. This thing is on this wall. So the only thing that I can think of the other night is that it came forward. It must have hit Joe, because Joe was here. And that must have came this way, and then fell off to the right. Oh my goodness, the light just went off. Oh my goodness, I don't like this. Whoa! <laughs> It won't come on, guys. It won't come on. Where's my old light? And something's... <sighs> All right, give me a second, guys. I got to get this light to, to come back on. There's no way the battery's dead. There it is. Oh, no. The battery might be dead. How's that even possible? There we go. Okay, so here's the cool thing. I'm good. I'm good. I know that something's here and something is not going to hurt me, but I really want to actually see if we can get anything else going on here. So let's just kind of chill out because this room seems like this is where all the uh, magic happens. So, all right, let's see. Whew. All right, if you're here, and you're trying to tell me something, give me some kind of sign. There's something rattling. Are you trying to communicate with me? Are you trying to tell me something? something back here and I have a feeling it might be this thing again I have a feel oh man I think this is the uh, this is the pot where the eggs have been cooking whoo man that's strong guys there's eggs there are definitely eggs cooking in this place See this thing? This little cable here. Now, the first time I was here, I thought it was moving. And I don't think I just rubbed it again, so I don't know if it's moving or not on its own. There's not a breeze in this place at all. Alright. Oh, man. I am, uh... I'm gonna talk in here again, guys, because... <clears throat> I just, I know there's something in here. So I'm at 12 minutes. Remember that camera's going to shut off in about three, so I'm going to kind of keep an eye on it. You know what? I'm going to shut it right now. Stand by. Stand by. I'm going to shut it right now. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so now we got another 15 minutes. That'll put me at uh, 27, so I'm in good shape. <clears throat> uh... Okay, so I will tell you this much. I am really feeling good here right now. I feel, you sister's hairy ass, what was that? What was that? Okay, it wasn't too crazy, whatever it was, but something, something, something happened. Let me check outside. Wow, that really scared the living daylights out of me, guys. Okay, all right, we're in good shape right now. We're in good shape. Good shape, guys. 
I'm gonna try again in here. <clears throat> Cause because I know that I got something going on in here. <sighs> okay. Let's try one more time and let's do it without um without hurting me. What do you say? You just make some kind of sign to let me know that you're here, you're with me, and you're okay. I am here in peace. I'm not going to hurt you. Please don't hurt me. I think that just moved. I think this door just moved. I really think this door just moved. So now, I'm going to go ahead and take a little peek at that door again. Okay. Did you move that door? And if you did, will you please move it again? Whew. Okay. There's no one up here. Let me just check one more time. Wait, let me check the viewfinder so I can see it. Because maybe if there is someone up there that they can actually reach down and shut that door. Okay. Okay, okay so I know no one's up here, and there is not a single person up here, so. Uh, oh my God! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! There it is, guys. There it is. Okay. All right. Whew. There it is. There's something here. There's someone here. There's a spirit here. And I get it. I get your... I, I know you're coming to me. And I'm good. Thank you for not... Thank you for not hurting me. Guys, I don't even know what to do or say. All I know is I'm backed into this door here. <coughs> it seems like, uh, Seems like the insulation is all stirred up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, what in the world? What in the world? Guys, that's coming from up here. That is really coming from up here. There's something up there. I know I can see it, so why? I mean, I can see my viewfinder. Oh my goodness, that file cabinet fell again, or whatever that thing is, that bookshelf. Oh my gosh, guys. <clears throat> I can tell you this much, I am not going to do a lights out challenge. That's for damn sure. Holy shit, that's scary. <sighs> that's scary, I'm not scared, but that's scary. That was, uh, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Let me check out here. So, here's the deal. I'm so new at this. You guys know better than I, I do. Um, because I do read all your comments, believe it or not. Um, or at least I try to. They're, they're becoming overwhelming. But, please tell me what that is. Tell me how, why, where. Well, and there goes my light again. I'm not doing a light out challenge, so. Yeah, there's something wrong with this light tonight and I'm so thankful that I have come on turn on oh. <sighs> come on please go on oh thank you Jesus okay so tell me what's going on how is this even happening so just gonna chill guys I'm gonna get through this I'm gonna get through this. Okay. 
just get some fresh air for a minute because that whatever that was it's pretty strong it smells like hard-boiled eggs so bad in there oh my goodness gracious <coughs> so <coughs> when that fell I think it stirred up there's a bunch of insulation on the ground here guys <coughs> and I really should look into a uh, a mask or something all right let me check this out again all right when in Rome right let's do this Okay, so I know I'm not alone. I know that you're here with me. <clears throat> and I know for whatever reason, I have some special attachment to you. I, uh, uh, this store, this store is, it didn't close, did it? It slammed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I heard that so clear. And that was the girl again. That's the girl's voice again. Oh, guys. There is a girl. There's something with a girl in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Are you okay? Are you okay? You can talk to me. I heard you. I absolutely heard you. Oh, it's in between these two rooms. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm thinking there's something connected with this door and this wall to connect back to that room. This room here. Oh, wow, that smell. Oh. Guys, I wish you could smell this. I really wish you could smell this. Because it's getting worse. Oh. It's right over here. There's something, something right over here. I hear you. And you know what? This looks like this might have been some kind of a wall chart or something. I wonder if this was a little girl's room. Oh my goodness. Guys, this makes a little more sense. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it makes zero sense. But to me, it seems like it's making some kind of sense to me. Oof. Oof. Gosh, that smells. Mm. Oh. Yeah, there's a very strong odor. And I cannot believe that I'm literally standing here right now. I cannot believe it. So the last time we were in here, this same cabinet fell. This one right here. <clears throat> then we decided to do a lights out challenge. And that's when I kind of... Guys, this is all new to me. I'm just, I'm just kind of trying to figure this whole thing out. Um... But that's when I really started to freak out. I think if I could just get my mind set in the right <clears throat> frame, that I can overcome any of this. I'm starting to understand. Hello? I thought I heard like a murmur or something. Okay. <clears throat> but I do know that if I set my mind to it, we're going to get through it every time. So I just got to be strong. Um, I'm, by, I'm doing it. I'm going to get through it again. That smell. All right, so let's try and see if we can get anything else, guys. 
Okay. So, ooh, whoa, whoo, big chill, big chill. So it feels like there's a, you ever feel like there's someone like right on top of you? That's what I just felt. I felt like somebody was right on top of me. I got a complete chill all through my whole body. Very freaky. Very thankful that whatever it is is not touching me like it did the first time I came in here because if I got touched, I don't know if I can handle it. So we're good. We're good. Stephanie, if that's you, I'm good with you. And I just hope that you're okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, that smell. <sighs> Guys, I'm just uh just gonna kinda chill here for a minute. place is really powerful really powerful now Stephanie if you want to communicate with me can you can you make some kind of noise can you speak to me can you communicate in any way without throwing anything at me please Stephanie, if you can hear me or whomever else might be in here, is there anything you want to tell me? Okay, guys. I think it's sort of settling down. I hope you're at peace. I hope you're at peace. If there's anyone in here, is there anything you'd like to tell me? <sighs> Guys, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is this is good. I'm good. I swear I hear talking. I feel like I hear talking. I am, uh, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave this room to be. So if you're in here, I'm gonna let you go and rest, okay? I want you to stay here. And don't follow me. Do not attach yourself to me. I will come back. We can talk another day. How's that sound? You and me. We'll make a date out of it. How does that sound? Okay. I like it. I like it. And I am not going to pick that up again. I'm going to leave it there. So you can't drop it on me again if I ever come back here. Because i got to be honest, Stephanie. That right there... Good job. Way to freak me out. Okay, so guys, I'm I'm actually uh I think I'm getting really close to wrapping this up. And I'm just gonna hang out here and talk to you for a little bit. Ooh. Come on, well, this light's not working now. There it goes. Guys, <clears throat> you guys are so good at, um, I'm gonna kinda get over here in this corner and just chill out for a minute. There are so many things that I've noticed smells so bad that uh, you guys capture that I don't see um, and you send screenshots 
<coughs> I'm so thankful for that because that is so cool. Because then when you show it to me, I'm kind of glad I don't see a lot of it. Because if I saw it here, um, I don't know what I'd do. The best part of this whole thing is I'm feeling so much more comfortable. And don't get me wrong. That thing started doing what it was doing. And then my first instinct was to get out of here. Um, but it seems like the more I accept it and the more I, I um, I'm comfortable with it, um, the less it's trying to harm me or bother me, if that makes any sense. So, I'm good if there's a dude in here or whatever. I'm kind of cool with that. Not really, but I can handle that a lot better than I can handle these spirits. But I think what I'm trying to say here is that I am starting to overcome that and I'm starting to feel a lot better with that as well. So, um, my biggest thing is, is Joe was messed up last night <clears throat> and I had to make a point that I can get through tonight. Um, I will be completely honest. I, I wish you can smell this because it smells like eggs. That's, all I can, that's the only thing I can think of. He said it smelled like gas, poison gas. Um, uh, it smells like hard-boiled eggs. Oh my God, so but, once again, you guys are here with me. Thank you, because I couldn't do it if you weren't here and if I wasn't talking to this silly little camera. So, I am very grateful for that. And, um, I guess we're just going to kind of hang out. See what else might happen. And every time I look over here, I, I just get such an eerie feeling, like somebody's somebody's gonna jump through that window and I chuckle like uh, like that wouldn't bother me but if it did guys you'd see me run out of here so damn fast I'd probably come right out of my shoes and, and lose these new boots that I have so this is kinda this was uh somebody moved this I think this bucket was somewhere else I think it was I think it might have been in that corner over there or something but I noticed that wasn't there now the file cabinet was up here <clears throat> and the file cabinet with the dirty ass dra uh, drawers are over here. Um, so that's a little strange. And apparently that happened in our last video. I think we we all just kind of hightailed out of here so fast that we didn't even pay attention to it. But so that door opened the last time. And it was just it was just complete chaos. We played it off I played it off I think pretty well although I did kind of say let's get out of here but um I know I'm talking too much guys but that's the only way I can get through this Voices, but I like a conversation, like whispers. Whatever it was, whatever it is. I speak too soon sometimes. Whew. Okay. Just feel like somebody's watching me or on top of me or whatever it might be, but okay, so I am done. Once again, 
Stephanie or whoever else is in here, thank you. Thank you for communicating with me. I, uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to also appreciate the fact that you do not decide to uh, hop in the Jeep with me and get out of here. Because I'm going home by myself. I think you're awesome. I really don't think my wife would appreciate you coming home. Looks a little strange. She might not let me come do this anymore. So you stay where you are. I'm going to go do my thing. I thank you so much. And I hope you are resting in peace. Guys, I am finito. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I made it. Oh, I'm at 14 minutes and 20 seconds, so my camera's going to go off again. Um, <clears throat> I had to uh, do a quick uh, restart. I did two restarts in there, so I had to do a quick little restart. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. I did it again. I'm glad Joey C's okay. There is some crazy odor in there. Um, I could see where it might get someone sick. Um, he was just really freaked out. He was very disoriented. I can't wait to see his video that comes out. But I do thank you guys. I love you so much. Please see all the descriptions down below. Like, share, do all the good stuff. I love you guys so much, and we'll see you next time on C's Crazy Crossroads. Mwah!